Hey guys, welcome back. I am excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing some of my, I won't say all time favorite products, but just products that are like tried and true and they work really well for me and most of them are very inexpensive and it's just products I think are going to be like universal and anybody could use. Um, I do have some makeup stuff and I do have nail care stuff and I've got one skincare item as well. So I don't really have much to say so let's just jump into it. We're going to start with the makeup items first. So I am not a huge makeup wearer. I wear minimal makeup on a daily basis. Um, usually I just put on some concealer, um, I do my eyebrows, mascara, eyeliner, and some powder. That's typically about it. I don't even wear eyeliner every day. Sometimes I just do mascara. It just kind of depends on how much time I have in the morning. Um, you know, obviously I do my makeup a lot more for from going out or whatever, but just like on a day-to-day -day basis, that's all I really wear. So I just have like a small makeup bag that I carry around with me that has all the stuff that I use every day. But there are a couple of products that I use every day that I really, really enjoy and that I will repurchase and I have repurchased. And... I guess you kind of could almost call them like holy grail products for me because I always go back to them and I use them all the time. So the first product um, is mascara. It's the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express and this is in Glam Black, I think. Yeah, Glam Black. Glam Black. And this is a really old dried up tube. I'm not using this one anymore. Um, but the wand looks like this. And so it's just like your traditional kind of wand. And I've heard mixed reviews about this product. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally love it. This is the mascara I always go back to. I have a lot of other mascaras that I've purchased that are waiting you know, for me to use, but I always end up going back to this one because I just this one just works so well for me. So in my makeup bag, I always have a, a container of this and then like whatever other mascara I'm using. Sometimes I have two or three of them that are in my makeup bag along with this one, but I always, always have this one because if another one isn't working for me that well, or if I'm like in a hurry and I don't want to like fuss with a mascara I don't really know how to use, I always end up using this one. Now, I think like the major complaint I've heard from some people is that this flakes. And I do have the flaking problem, but only when it starts to get really dried out. Um, so then that's way for me to know that I need to start using a new um, container because it starts to flake on me. But you know, during like it's normal time, I don't have any issues with the flaking for myself. It hardly clumps, it gives me the length, it curls my lashes a little bit for me. Um, it definitely gives me volume and I just really, really like this mascara. The next makeup item I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And you have heard a lot of people talk about this product. It is a favorite amongst, amongst a lot of different people. And you know, that's obviously gonna say something to the quality of this product. Um, I use it in the color 15 Fair. For me, it's just a good everyday concealer. It does have a thinner consistency. It is more liquidy like. Um, it's not, you know, the coverage isn't like amazing, but it's good enough for me for what I need. I just put some on underneath my eyes to cover my dark circles a bit and on my blemishes. And that's pretty much what I use every single day in terms of coverage on my skin. It does come on just this traditional um, applicator. And like I said, it's pretty thin consistency as you can see. It does blend very easy, very well. It's tacky enough that it sticks to your skin. Um, I just really, really like the formula of this. It lasts all day long. I don't have a ton of problems with it creasing or anything like that either. It's just, it's just a good concealer and I really recommend this one. The next product I'm going to show you is another one that you hear a lot about on YouTube and a lot of people like it and that is the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder. I use it in the color Fair. The one thing I want to say about the color selection is that they are a little bit deeper than normal. Like I am typically a, a light um, complexion when it comes to powder, like liquid things I'm more fair, but when it comes to powder, I'm usually more light instead of fair. So this one I do think is a little, runs a little bit deeper. So if you're actually like really fair, I don't know if the fair one will work for you or not. Um, but as you can see, I've hit pan. I love, love, love this powder. It's what I use to set my concealer every single day. It does have a little mirror on the top here if you wanted to use it. 
And the little puff thing that comes with it isn't too bad either. Um, I don't typically use this, but if I'm in a pinch and I don't have anything, it is it does work and it applies powder nicely. I do like it. The consistency and the texture of this is so smooth and silky. It is like a high-end powder. It's awesome, amazing. It it gives me the nice, good finish I want. It's not super matte, um, but it's matte enough for what you need. I just really, really like this powder. This product is one I don't think I've seen anybody on YouTube talk about. Um, I read about it on a blog post. I can't even remember who it was from, but it was a very long time ago. And she talked about this being like an amazing moisturizer and it is um i got it at walmart i believe it's like it's like five dollars at walmart and this is the saint ives timeless skin collagen elastin elastin moisturizer so i use this as my facial uh, lotion every single day um, I try to put it on in the morning and at night, but I'm not always successful with doing that. A little bit goes a long way. Um, it, you know, it's you don't want to put too much on. If you do put too much of this on, it will get oily. But if you can just put on the a good amount or you know the decent amount for your skin, then it's really really good. Um, this does have mineral oil in it, and for some reason, a lot of people like freak out about that and think, oh no, it's bad. You shouldn't be putting oil on your skin. But really. Oil is really good for your skin and you should be putting it on your skin all the time. Um, it's just a white a cream. Um, and the one thing that's bad about it is you do have to dip your fingers in. I have been meaning, I always forget when I go to the store, I wanna go buy like a little um, cosmetic spatula or spoon or whatever to be taking it out of and using that instead of using my fingers to help with um, contamination and bacteria and stuff. But I really, really like this. I don't, it's not too heavy for the summer, but at the same time, it's also thicker enough so that in the winter months, it does give you more, more moisture. I wouldn't call this my holy grail because there's a lot of other products I like too, but this one, I really, I mean, it's definitely up in like my top favorites for sure. Um, so, but if you're wanting to try some new stuff to use, especially at night, I think this works really, really well at night and you could even slather on a bit more at night since you know, you'll be sleeping. Um, but yeah, I would give this one a try. Okay, now for the fun stuff, the nail stuff. So. I have a couple of things I want to talk about that you really haven't heard of and some have been talked to death so I won't talk about them much. Um, and again, these are kind of just like products that I, you know, since I wasn't painting my nails for a while, when I started painting them again, these were products that I started using going, oh yeah, that's why I love this one so much because it works so well for this or whatever. So it's just products that really do work that if you have them or if you have access to them, you just need to try them because they are that good. So the first one, I am not gonna talk about it much. It's the Glisten and Glow HK Girl Top Coat. Um, this is a top coat that I think every single nail vlogger, blogger, whoever has talked about. This is my second bottle that I've used. It's amazing. It works super well. It dries your nails so fast. You can, you know, you don't have to worry about smudges or anything, anything like that. Doesn't pull nail art, doesn't shrink like how Such Feet does. Just a great, great top coat, and I don't think I will be using any other top coat anymore because this one is so awesome, but you guys should all know that because everybody talks about this top coat because it is that amazing. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, this next one though, I kind of feel bad for talking about it because this is a discontinued product and you can't find it anymore, but I wanted to throw it in here in case you maybe have it in your stash and you haven't pulled it out or you forgot you had it, because if you do have it, you need to use it. And that is the Revlon Colorstay Gel Smooth Base Coat. This is what it looks like here. This is my second bottle I've used, and I do have one more bottle aside from this one, so that makes me really happy. Like I said, you cannot get it anymore, but this base coat is awesome. It's thick which I really like in a base coat because I really want to know that my nails are protected. So I'm getting a nice thick layer on my base, uh, on my nails before I put on my color. I've definitely noticed improved wear time when I use this base coat, so I know it's really helping with that. Um, obviously this top coat has a lot to do with that too, but I've, I've noticed when I use different base coats compared to this one, I get even better, um, it, I guess like, adhesion is that the right word adhesion to your nail like the color I don't really get as much peeling or anything like that I feel like I have a very strong solid foundation it's just a really really awesome base coat so like I said if you have it 
stuck somewhere in your stash or you know someone that has it that doesn't use it, go steal it from them because it's just a really good base coat and I'm really sad that they discontinued this because once I'm out of my two bottles then I have to find something else. This next thing I've talked about in my nail care video, which I'll link down below the nail care video um, from, I don't even know how long ago, quite a while ago. But this is a Blue Cross cuticle remover. You can get this at Sally's and I think this whole container is $5, somewhere around that range. And this stuff is awesome. It takes off your cuticles so fast, so efficiently, so quickly. I love, love, love this cuticle remover. The only downfall is that the packaging needs some work. It's just like in this squeezy tube. So if you were to pour it out of this, it just kind of gushes out and you can't really get a good placement on your nail where you want it. So I bought this little glass jar, I think on 88 Beauty. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. And it has a dropper. So I really like this because, you know, you just squeeze some of the product and then you can just take it, um, you know, and drop it on your nails right where you want it to go. A little bit goes a long way. This is a huge bottle that's gonna last me forever. If you have any problems removing your cuticles or you're still looking for a product that really works, go to Sally's, try this stuff. I promise you will not be disappointed. Um, and then speaking of cuticles, we're going to talk about this. This is also from Sally's. I can't remember how much it is. I'll try to pop it on the screen if I can find it. This is European Secrets Who First Choice Nail and Cuticle Cream. Looks like this. It's in a little pot. Um, this is how the product looks inside. This is amazing. I have tried so many different cuticle creams. Um, Lemony Flutter, there's some Sally Hansen ones, the Burt's Bees, I mean, the list goes on. And I've always had problems with them. They're too oily or they're too sticky or they don't absorb in my skin right. Oily is the biggest problem that I've had. Like Lemony Flutter, mm -mm. I do not know why so many people were so in love with that product. I've, it just did not work for me. It was too oily, it didn't absorb, I just made a mess with it. I needed something more lotion-like but that was still giving you the extra moisture that your cuticles needed, you know what I mean? And this is the perfect thing for that. It's definitely, as you can see, it's more of a lotion. It's not, uh, you know, it is really thick though. It's a really thick consistency, but it's creamy. You know, you can see you can just rub it into your skin and it's not oily at all. I mean, maybe a teeny bit, but it's not bad. It's not any more than like a regular lotion. So I'm able to put this on and still go about my day and do whatever I was doing and not worrying about getting oily stuff all over whatever. And it does absorb rather quickly. Also another plus because then I know it's getting into my skin and it's staying in my skin. The only bad thing I have to say is that it doesn't have the best scent and the scent is kind of strong. So it's like one of those, like when you open it that people around you might be like, oh, what does that smell? Who's opening something? Cause it smells weird. That's the only complaint I have about it. Um, but other than that, it, whatever, I deal with the scent and I, it's not awful, it's just not pleasant, but I deal with it because I love this product so much. The last product I have to share with you is the most expensive product that I'm gonna show you. Everything else is the drugstore, very inexpensive, but this is a little bit more expensive. I believe it's $20. And I haven't heard anybody talk about this. This is from Julep. And this is the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum. It has, uh, comes in this silver container. And on you open it here and it's got a brush applicator. And then you twist this, it clicks. And that makes the product come out. Now, the directions for this is wonky and it's not how I use it. The directions say, apply to cuticle area twice daily. That's all it says. I don't do that. That's I'm way, way too low maintenance <laughs> for that. I do not have the time to put this on my nails twice a day. But when I use this is right after I'm done with a manicure. I use this to moisturize like on a daily basis or as, as frequently as I remember. But this is what I use right when I'm done painting my nails. Um, you know, like we all know you paint your nails and you clean up with your acetone and your skin is very dry And especially like people that make YouTube and do swatches and stuff You have to have good cuticles when you post your pictures so they don't look like crap um, And a lot of people use like the SC apricot oil, which I really don't like um, Or some other cuticle oils, but again, they're oils. They sit on your skin. They takes longer to absorb Makes your skin real shiny, etc, etc. 
This is more of just a clear serum that puts the moisture back into my skin without the oiliness. It's amazing, I love it. Um, I have repurchased this, I do have another backup of it. I really like this, I think this is the, my most favorite Julep product I've ever used. Um, but and I'll just kind of show you here, it's just you know, clear liquid. And I don't even rub it in my skin, I just lay, leave it, put it on like that, and then it just absorbs into my skin. And I just wait a few minutes um, after I put that on and then my cuticles look nice and moisturized again and I can take my pictures. I do think this would be a good product to use on a daily basis. Um, I'm not against that at all. I just personally know I'll never use it that way. I just like that it puts the instant, instant hydration in my skin and that's going to be good anyway because you know when you just have freshly painted nails you don't really want to come in with a cream like this and rub all over it. This you're not using your fingers you're just coming in Get as close as you can to your nail. And I just messed up the brush. Oh, that's not good. I fixed it. You can come in, you know, get as close as you can um, right when you're done painting your nails. And then, you know, you have your hydration back without a mess all over your fingers. So that was the end of my tried and true products that I wanted to share with you today. Let me know which one was your favorite or if you've tried any of them or if you like any of them or maybe you hate some of the products I've shown you. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, your comments and your questions. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything's been going good for you. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it. And until next time, guys, peace, love, and polish. Bye.